Okay, so today we got a uh, 2010 FX4 Ford F-150. That's their four-wheel drive, high-end, nice truck. Got lots of features and options on it. We're going to do the walkthrough on the Autel MS906 TS. Uh, I've already got the VSI in the vehicle, got the key on. We'll do a uh, auto detect. We're going to assume that's the right VIN number. Which, by the way, every time I've ever done the auto detect, the VIN has always matched up. Now, you do, depending on what you're doing, you do want to double check that every now and then to make sure it's correct. Now, this does have the 5 4 liter in it, it's automatic. Uh, it actually tells you it's the three valve uh, engine. So, if you ever do spark plugs in one of these, go ahead and get you the uh, extractor kit because you're going to bust some of them uh, in the cylinder head. And I can't remember if I mentioned it, but what we're going to do is the walkthrough of the active test and the functions that this scanner uh, has. The, you know, basically the abilities, the advanced abilities this scanner has on these vehicles. Um, we're not going to go through just the, you know, the regular reading of a code or uh, the live data because any decent scanner will give you live data and code uh, code you know read the codes so we're just going to go through the the advanced parts of this scanner and what it can do uh, that most scanners don't have the ability to do okay so who, here we are the first thing I want to look at is the programming because what's nice about that is if you replace a module on a lot of these Fords, you have to be able to do a program on it for it to work. So, if you're, for instance, if you replace the ABS module, what, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the ABS here. It's going to download the original configuration of the ABS module. Um, then you remove the ABS module, put the new one in, and then the scanner will write the configuration data back to the new ABS module. That way it'll work in the truck. And you can see all the different modules here that uh, this scanner is capable of doing. So now what we're going to do, we'll do, I'll just show you the hot function. Brake bleed, program keys, uh, the steering angle, throttle position sensor, uh, oil reset. So now we'll go to diagnose. We're going to go to control unit. We've got two pages here. First we'll do PCM. Uh, PCM. So, no special functions, but we'll look at active test. Okay, we got two pages. Uh, and here, here you are. I'm just going to scroll through, let you take a look. Th these are things that most scanners aren't able to do. Higher end scanners obviously have that ability, but transmission control module, active test. Just one page there. ABS module, active test. Looks like we've got two pages. It's pretty good options there to uh, test the multiple items of the ABS system. All your valves, uh, pump motor. No active test or function or special functions, so we're not going to go any further there. The nice thing about these Fords a lot of times is you can uh, change the tire size. It, it allows you to program the different tire sizes, which is nice. Got four pages here. Um, 
So I'll just scroll through so you can take a look. And the reason I do these, you know, I've kind of explained this before. When I was looking for a good scanner, I needed to know what kind of capabilities they had. And a lot of times just reading the description, it, you know, it doesn't get specific enough to where you really know what they're capable of. And it would have been nice, you know, to be able to, uh, you know, to find one of these uh, walkthroughs so that you can kind of get an idea of what it's, you know, what it's capable of before you throw down the kind of money that you got to throw down on, on one of these. Now, whenever it says this, that just means that control module, it, it, it doesn't have that option on the vehicle. That feature, that option that, you know, could be available on the vehicle is just not there. Got two pages here. And so what you use some of this stuff for is if you're troubleshooting, you know, if someone comes in, say, with a right-hand power window that's not working, well, you can use the scan tool to drive it up and down, uh, things like that. So you can, you know, you can tell if it's either a computer data issue, if maybe the switch isn't working, but the, the computer's capable of actually rolling the window up and down, uh, you know, things like that. I'm, I know I'm going through this kind of fast, but I've actually run out of time, and I've got to do something here in just a few minutes. So I'm trying to give you just a quick, the quickest run through I can. So if you need to pause this, the the screen so that you can read all the different options, then uh, you know you can do that. Two pages here. And you can tell how many pages by looking at these dots down down below. I can't remember what I did. HBAC, that's always good to have a few options to uh, to troubleshoot the AC system. All your different blend doors, blower relay. Parking aid. Transfer case. Rear locking differential. And that's about it, it looks like. Um, I think I hit everything. Show you under service uh, some of the some of the options you got. You got power balance, got some transmission test, fuel test, chassis, braking, and body restraint security. Anyway, this is a 2010 FX4 Ford F-150. Quick walk through, give you an idea of, you know, what what you can get out of a scan tool like this on one of these boards. Anyway, you guys take care.